This is the revision video for the FP3 topic on polar coordinates. We need to be familiar with polar coordinates and how they relate to our normal Cartesian coordinates. We need to be able to sketch basic curves, find the intersection of those curves. We need to be able to find the points on a curve where the tangents are either parallel to or perpendicular to the initial line. And finally, we need to be able to calculate areas of regions bounded by polar curves. So the main ideas, well, if we have a point P represented by Cartesian coordinates x, y, and also by polar coordinates r, theta, then we certainly need to know that x is given by r cos theta, y is given by r sine theta, and r is given by the square root of x squared plus y squared. We also have the relationship that tan theta equals y over x, but take care using this result because it does not mean that theta equals tan to the minus 1 of y over x. We need to be able to sketch polar curves and there's one important property that we need to realise that, it, and that is that if r equals naught when theta equals alpha then the half line theta equals alpha is a tangent to the curve at the pole. We need to realise that if we want to find intersection of a curve r1 equals f of theta and r2 equals g of theta, then we can find the values of theta by solving the equation f of theta equals g of theta. But we do also need to be careful if to consider whether both curves pass through the pole or not, because the pole will not necessarily be found by just solving the equation f of theta equals g of theta. The tangent to a polar curve will be parallel to the initial line if dy by d theta equals naught and it will be perpendicular to the initial line if dx by d theta equals naught. The area formed by the, the curve r equals f of theta and the lines, the half lines, theta equals alpha and theta equals beta is given by the integral between alpha and beta of a half r squared d theta. And it's a good idea to have a pictorial representation of that in your mind. So let's move and have a look at a couple of polar coordinate questions, the first one of which comes from the 2010 paper. And the first part of the question says, find the polar coordinates of the point on C at which the tangent is perpendicular to the initial line. If the tangent is perpendicular to the initial line, then we've got dx by d theta must equal naught. We know that x is r cos theta that is cos theta plus 2 sine theta or r times by cos theta. So we've got dx by d theta, I'm using the product rule straight away, is first of all the derivative of the first term which is minus sine theta plus 2 cos theta times by the second term plus the first term, cos theta plus 2 sine theta, times by the derivative of the second term, which is minus sine theta. If we expand that out, we've got minus sine theta cos theta plus 2 cos squared theta minus cos theta sine theta minus 2 sine squared theta, or 2 lots of cos squared theta minus sine squared theta minus 2 sine theta cos theta, Cos squared theta minus sine squared theta is cos 2 theta. 2 sine theta cos theta is sine 2 theta. So we've got dx by d theta is 2 cos 2 theta minus sine 2 theta 
but we want that to equal naught. So we've got 2 cos 2 theta must equal sine 2 theta, which means that tan 2 theta must equal 2, which means that we have that 2 theta is tan to the minus 1 of 2, or theta is 0.5536 radians. Fairly obvious that we want to be using radians because the whole question is set up in radians. If theta is 0.5536, then we have r equals 1.902. So we have the polar coordinates of the required point. The area of the region enclosed by C, the initial line and the line theta equals pi by 2, well, area is half r, the integral of a half r squared d theta. So we've got a half of the integral between 0 and pi by 2 of cos theta plus 2 sine theta all squared. Multiplying that out, we've got the integral of cos squared theta plus 4 sine theta cos theta plus 4 sine squared theta. And we just use, need to use a little bit of trigonometry here. We have the following identities that we ought to be familiar with. First of all, cos squared theta is the same thing as half plus a half cos 2 theta. Secondly, sine squared theta is the same thing as a half minus a half cos 2 theta. And thirdly, 2 sine theta cos theta is exactly the same thing as sine 2 theta. So we can rewrite the expression for the area as, instead of cos squared theta, we have a half plus a half cos 2 theta. Instead of 4 sine theta cos theta, we have 2 sine 2 theta. Instead of 4 sine squared theta, we've got 2 minus 2 cos 2 theta. Tidy that integral up. We have to integrate 5 over 2 plus 2 sine 2 theta minus 3 over 2 cos 2 theta. Performing the integration, we have 5 over 2 theta minus cos 2 theta minus 3 over 4 sine 2 theta. We need to put the limits in of 0 and pi by 2 and then multiply the subsequent answer by a half. So we've got, first of all, a half of... Putting theta equals pi by 2 in, we've got 5 over 2 times pi by 2 is 5 pi by 4, minus the cosine of pi, so that's minus minus 1, minus 3 quarters sine of pi, which is nothing. Then we need to take away the value when x equals naught, when x equals, sorry, when theta equals naught, so when theta equals naught, first term 0, the second term is 1, or minus 1, and the third term is 0 again. And simplifying that out, we have 1 half of 5 pi over 4 plus 2. In other words, we have 5 pi over 8 plus 1. The marking on this question was there were three marks at the beginning of the question for... Um, realising that we needed dx by d theta equals naught, so finding dx by d theta and equating it to naught, and then four marks for then solving that equation and finding the value of r as well. For the second part of the question, was a method mark for simply saying that the area was a half r squared d theta, and then an answer mark for Expanding out the brackets for r squared. Two marks then for coming down to the 2 theta format for the integral. Mark for correctly doing the integration. And the final answer mark. And our second example we have the curve given by r equals 1 minus theta for theta lying between 0 and 1. 
and first of all we have the point P it's the point on the curve at which the tangent is parallel to the initial line if the tangent is parallel to the initial line then we must have dy by d theta equals naught. Y is r sine theta. In this case, r is 1 minus theta. So we have got one y equals 1 minus theta times sine theta. dy by d theta, using the product rule, we have derivative of 1 minus theta is minus 1 times by the sine of theta left alone plus the 1 minus theta left alone times by the derivative of sine theta which is cos theta so we want dy by d theta to equal naught so that means that we must have 1 minus theta times cos theta equaling sine theta if we divide through by cos theta that's 1 minus theta equals tan theta or tan theta plus theta equals 1 as required question now asks us carries on by asking us to find the show that the area of the region enclosed by C1 and the li initial line is 1 sixth well we just need to notice that r equals naught when theta equals 1 so theta equals 1 is a tangent at the pole to the curve and the area that we're being asked to work out is the area between theta equals naught and theta equals 1 so the area is a half r squared the integral of a half r squared d theta so that's a half of the integral between naught and 1 of 1 minus theta squared expand the 1 minus theta squared perform the integral and put the limits in and the 1 sixth comes out pretty quickly so that's the first half of the question done there is a second half to the question so we now have a second curve being introduced which is the curve r equals 2 theta squared for theta line between 0 and 1 and we first of all asked to find out the polar coordinates of the point of intersection of C1 and C2 and this is the point of intersection that isn't the pole so if we put R1 equals R2 then we've got 1 minus theta must equal 2 theta squared in other words we've got the quadratic equation 2 theta squared plus theta minus 1 equals 0 which we can factorize and discover that theta is either a half or minus 1 however we know that theta is between 0 and 1 so theta must be a half and if theta equals a half we've also got r equals a half so the point Q has got polar coordinates of r equals a half theta equals a half the final part of the question requires us to find the area of the shaded region. Looking at the equation here, we can see very clearly that when r equals naught, r equals naught when theta equals naught. So in fact, the diagram isn't drawn very well. We ought to be having a rather smoother curve going rather like that with it tangential at the origin so the area that we're actually finding is the area formed by the curve r equals 2 theta squared and the half lines theta equals naught and theta equals a half the formula for areas we've got area is a integral of a half r squared d theta so that's a half the integral between naught and a half of 2 theta squared squared so that's the integral of a half of the integral of 4 theta to the 4 between naught and a half so that's a half of 4 fifths 
theta to the 5 between 0 and a half. If we put theta equals a half in, that gives me 4 fifths of 1 30 second, which is 1 40th. Multiply that by a half, we end up with 1 80th. The marking on this question, you move right back to part A, there were three marks for obtaining the result that tan theta plus theta had to equal 1, and then another three marks for calculating the first area. Moving on to part B, there were four marks for finding the point of intersection, and then four marks for going through and working out the area of the region.